the chat with Dr. J. Welcome. It is flu season and the CDC has issued a warning that there are eight to nine new strands of the flu. And you, my beautiful people, run the risk of contracting the flu. Things you can do to help you survive the flu season. Number one, you cannot work around sick people. <laughs> If you're at the hospital, you might want to try to get out of there, okay? That is the number one place where sick people are going to be, okay? And you run the risk of getting sick. You can avoid very public places like um, the movies, the mall, um, banks and restaurants and airports and gyms. I'm, <laughs> I'm only kidding. Nobody goes to the gym. But seriously, avoid places like, you know, the library. Nobody goes to the library anymore either, Um uh, churches, places where they're really, really tight. There's a lot of breathing going on, a lot of clapping and a lot of hugging. You want to avoid places like that. Also, um, don't touch anything out in the public. That's baskets, that's um, ATM machines, that's public pens. Um, also, if you have a, a child that attends the school, a daycare in particular, those are germ fest. And let me tell you something. You're going to want to take that baby to the door and let that baby sign itself in, okay? <laughs> I mean, you're the one that's working and have to make sure everybody's taken care of. You can't afford to be sick, so let that baby sign itself in. And if you can, try not to have a baby in the winter months. Um, don't let people drive your car or ride in your car. Um, don't breathe public air. If you can, try to take some air um, from your home that's already been sterilized and take it with you throughout the day. That's your best it's your best bet. And um, don't talk to people. That's pretty much it. Don't talk to people. Don't be around people. And here's the thing. If you happen to be um, a person who has gotten sick by someone intentionally because they failed to uh, not call off from work or they just had to come to the conference or they just had to be at the birthday dinner and you got sick because of them, there's a technique called the sick back. And what it is is re-exposing them to the sickness that they gave you simply by a hug or a handshake or preparing them an infectious meal um, by your hands because you are infected by a disease that they gave you. Um, those are a few tips to help you to make it through the flu season. Happy flu season, Dr. Jack!